हेलो स्टूडेंट आई एम मयूर गोंडलिया एंड यू आर वाचिंग स्कूल ऑफ फिजिक्स टुडे वी विल टेक वन एग्जांपल ऑन फूरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म प्रॉब्लम ऑन फूरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म फाइन द फूरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म of f of t equal to 1 for modulus of t less than a and f of t equal to 0 for modulus of t greater than a here modulus of t less than a that is plus minus t less than a that is plus t less than a and minus t less than a that is plus t less than a and t greater than minus a it means modulus of t less than a equal to minus a less than t less than a similarly modulus of t greater than a that is plus minus t greater than a that is plus t greater than a and minus t greater than a that is plus t greater than a and t less than minus a it means modulus of t greater than a equal to Minus a greater than t greater than a. Hence, our function is defined as f of t equal to one for minus a less than t less than a, and f of t equal to zero for minus a greater than t greater than a. If we plot it, then it is like this. Now, formula of Fourier transform is. f of omega equal to one upon square root two pi integral minus infinity to infinity f of t e raised to minus i omega t dt. Our function is divided into three parts: one in interval minus infinity to minus a, where f t equal to zero; two in interval minus a to a, where f t equal to one; and three in interval a to Plus infinity, where f of t equal to zero. If we put these values in the formula, then it is clear that this part and this part of the formula vanish. Hence, we have f of omega equal to one upon square root two pi integral minus a to a one into e raised to minus i omega t into d t. Now, integrating it. We get f of omega equal to one upon square root two pi into integration of e raised to minus i omega t, that is e raised to minus i omega t upon minus i omega, with limit minus a to a. Putting the values of limits, f of omega equal to one upon square root two pi into bracket e raised to minus i omega a minus e raised to i omega a. Upon minus i omega, multiplying by two upon two and rearranging the terms, we have f of omega equal to two upon square root two pi into omega into bracket e raised to minus i omega a minus e raised to i omega a upon minus two i. Now remove negative sign of the denominator by interchanging the terms of the numerator. And simplifying, we get for f of omega equal to this one. Since this bracket part equal to sine omega a, and therefore we can write f of omega equal to square root two upon pi into sine omega a upon omega. This is the Fourier transform of the given function. In next video. We will take one more example on Fourier transform. Please write your suggestion in comment box. Like and share this video, and subscribe my YouTube channel, School of Physics. Thanks.